Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got another old tractor restoration tip for you. You can see I got a couple helicoil thread repair kits here. And it's a pretty common thing on old machines to find threaded holes that aren't in too good of shape. This one right here is a 5 8 by 11. And you can see there aren't a whole lot of threads left in there. Even have some minor uh, cast breakage here around the upper end. So I'll uh, be using one of these uh, helicoil thread repair kits in here. Renew these threads, get them back into good condition so that they'll fit the bolt properly. And I'll show you guys how to do it. So guys, I'll just start out by saying this really quick. Um, if you're watching this channel, you've probably done some sort of thread repair yourself over the years. I've put in more of these helicoils than I can remember of uh, varying sizes and uh, other st style of inserts too. Uh, way more robust designs than what the helicoil is. This is actually kind of on the lower end, uh, heavy duty wise, but for this application where I really don't plan on having to put a bolt in here anyway after it's restored, this is going to be just fine just for restoring those threads and at least having it be an option in case I ever need to put anything in there for whatever reason. So now that we have that out of the way, your first step is to drill the remaining threads out of the hole to prepare it for the insert. And they're pretty good about telling you what size bit you need. This says drill size 21 30 seconds. That's what this happens to be right here. And if you don't have it marked on the case, it's usually on the uh, the tap that comes with it too. So right here we have use drill 21 30 seconds. So like I said, step one, drill that hole. So with this step, you wanna be sure to uh, keep the bit square with your work. Don't start drilling at an angle, anything like that. Uh, stop often and check to see where you are. You can usually tell by the uh, the witness marks inside of the hole, how centered you are with the old uh, threaded bore. And with these larger diameter holes, these bigger bits, uh, they're going to grab, they're going to bite on you. You just have to uh, reverse the drill, clear the chip, start again. Just make sure to keep everything nice and true. Do not go in crooked and just take your time. You'll eventually get to the bottom of it. See it grabbed already. Grabbed again. Here we are, found the bottom. Now I'll clear the chips out of there and we'll have a look at it. See, that's what the bearings in your shop back start sounding like when it's been on the sandblasting cabinet too long. So that uh, cleaned up rather well, took care of all those old threads. Still a couple of rusty uh, low spots here at the top where some of that cast iron had uh, broken away, but I think the tap that uh, was provided in the kit plus the insert will take care of that. So next step now is to use the tap from the helicoil kit to put the oversized threads in there to get it ready for the inserts. And again, just like when you're drilling, you wanna make sure you go just as square as you can down that bore. And if you uh, have the advantage like I do here of having this flat surface that can afford you a good 90 degree angle, you can use like, I have this little gauge block or anything else you have that's rather precise and has a good 90 degree edge. You can use that to make sure your tap is going straight up and down. So we look good that way. And we're looking pretty good that way too. So just keep it going in straight. This cast is pretty forgiving for tapping threads. So I just kind of advance it a little bit, back the chip out. Start the process over. Keep doing that again until you get to the bottom of the hole. Okay, that's as deep as that goes. So we'll get the tap out of there. And again, clear the chips and have a look. And just as I suspected, the tap caught most of that uh, rusty area that the drill bit didn't get taken out the first time. So we got some really good looking oversized threads in there, ready to accept the insert, which will take this back down to the original 5 8 by 11 thread pitch. This is what they look like. You'll notice a little tang on the back. That tang is so that the shoulder on the end of the installer tool here can grab the insert and twist it in to those oversized threads as it's installed down into the hole. So this part is actually about the easiest step. Just kind of uh, start it by hand. You can just put a wrench on the installer tool and just spiral that thing down in. 
and then you hit the camera. And because this is not a very deep hole, I can stop this right when this last uh, spiral is just about flush with the top of the case, which will be about right there. At that point, the installer tool just threads out. And you've got a repaired hole. Final step now is to take the little tang off of the end of the uh, insert down in there. And you can see it's uh, pre-scored right there. That's so you can stick a punch down inside the insert and just knock that little piece right off. It usually just breaks right out of the way. Reach down in with a magnet and retrieve it. There it is. And there you have it, a fully repaired threaded hole. Nothing stripped out anymore. Threads are all in good condition. So we'll take this bolt, 5 8 by 11 thread. Fits well in the original undamaged hole behind it. We'll try it in the one we just repaired. And it runs right in there. It's a good fit. So that's how you repair stripped out or damaged threads with the Helicoil Thread Repair Kit. Guys, as always, I thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave comments below, and I hope to see you back again.